This is my new ranch. I've owned it for about two years. There's only one thing that makes me happier than being on here hunting myself with my family, and it's sharing it with other people. Another one of my passions is cooking wild game over the fire. I will be preparing wild hog and venison for my guests this weekend. We're gonna go from fire to oven for the next few hours. All right, so olive oil the meat and let it get flavor. Put a bunch of salt on there. Same thing on the hog. Onion powder, this garlic. Ethan, come look at this. Tell me what you think. We're gonna put some rock salt on there and we're gonna rub Yummy. this in. Does that look good? Doesn't that look good? Look how dark that is up there, bub. What do you think of that hog head, huh? Kinda oh, cool? Yeah. All right, so that's one side. It then we're gonna do. Dad, the one still has his. Oh yeah, he still has his mouth and his nose, right? And his. Everything. Teeth. And his teeth. And his nose. Taste that. Lick that. Mm. Yummy. You like that? Yummy. Put that on the meat. Just throw it on there. Don't touch it. You'll get all dirty. Do you think about that? Yummy. Doesn't that look good? You gotta take care of your clients when they're coming in to hunt and fish with you. Pig, get out of here before you get on that smoker. You wanna see your cousin? He's right here. I'm gonna be shaking my grill up. You're gonna end up being dinner, bruh. Check it out. I mean, money. Remember, we just need these veggies to be ready now. The meat's pretty much ready. Onion powder. Some garlic. Put a little bit of Montreal seasoning in there. Gives a little spice, but it's good. What I like about cooking that way is uh, you can cook for the masses. It just keeps growing when you add veggies and all that. And you just put a piece of meat in there and you forget about it. That's what I like about it. Let's go. Should be good. These guys are coming to just relax. They're coming during the rain, so I don't know how relaxing it's going to be, but they're excited to just get out of the big city. So we'll give them that experience. Mm -mm -mm. Before my clients go hunting, I have some hog heads too. All right, a little bit breezy, but dinner, late lunch or dinner is finally here. This is the hog. Can't even tell it's a hog head anymore. See the meat? Mm, look, delicious. It it's like better brisket. You like that? Mm -hmm. Isn't that good? That's so venison, venison's right here. Right here. Tell me what you think. It's gonna be a little drier like that that's good but hog is always going to taste better i think it's just venison's probably better for you but wild hog is just as lean just has a little bit more grease and fat how's that it's very near the best very best venison i've ever had really awesome thank you that's a good compliment i appreciate it well get your get your bowls and i'll dish you up this hog meat too Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to pull it out. Here's the jaw. And it just falls apart. That's how you know you got the good stuff. That's it. Ooh, that's hot. Mm. Here's your... Take that for safe keeps. Oh, man, that's hot. Isn't that nice with the juice? Yeah. With venison, you have to have it in juice. That's just what I think. Unless you're going to cook it medium rare, like a steak, 
that's when you do a medium rare. But when you're gonna do it like this, you have to cook it well done and you have to soak it in juice. It reminds me of like a, like a roast that you put in the crock pot for a Yes, while yes. And this is a Dutch oven. This is what it was in. It's this young man's first time to hunt hogs. As a matter of fact, he's never hunted anything in his life. I'm gonna to attempt to teach him how to look through a scope, a little bit of gun safety, and I'm hoping he can get on his first pig. Right here, stop right here, get your shoulder tight. Around, too far, you'll see the black ring around. Three generations right here, hunting together, attempting to get their first hog in the Texas jungle. This is why I love doing what I do. Y'all look like a bunch of gangsters. small hogs slipped away into the woods and I went back to camp just waiting for that sound shots fired shots fired still shooting already you got one huh? got one pretty decent size one too really who shot it? Shot. Did you shoot two? I shot two. But you missed, you think? I fired, okay, so I missed one round and I fired the other one because he was still moving. Well, but you missed the other one. Yeah. Two. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Got a lot going on. That's great. Like if you were gonna shoot a next shot, see this? And this right here is where you wanna go to drop them. What the front you out there for? We finished skinning and quartering this pig, put it on ice to keep it fresh, and slipped off to bed. The next day, a perfect opportunity to educate with a large Texas-sized rat snake. Oh, check this bad boy out. Is that a rat snake? A rat snake. Wow. That's cool. <laughs> Pretty well, friendly, I bet those huh? things feast yeah. out here, don't they? Yeah. Just don't touch his head. They don't like it. But anywhere in the body, though, <laughs> you'll be just fine. You do like snakes. Yeah, I do. That is pretty cool. Hey, Papa, get in there for a picture <laughs> with him. I know it's not your favorite. You're not going to get a picture <laughs> with him? Y'all hold it together. Yep. You hold the tail and hey, let's see how long he is. <laughs> the whole Texas jungle experience. Good, is that your first time holding a big rat snake? Yeah, this is the biggest I've held. And they get bigger. That's still a pretty good size rat snake. He's pretty good, isn't he? He's getting active. He was eating my eggs. <laughs> I was getting into your chicken eggs. You put them around your neck. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, we're going to release them here. So uh, it's going to help me with my rats situation. We like to let these snakes go. They keep the rats out of my camper. Huh. Buddy, I'll miss you. You're the friendliest rat snake I think I've had. <laughs> go ahead. Pretty friendly, Enjoy the Texas Jungle Ranch, buddy. Good times, right? Yes, sir. Part of the experience, man. <laughs> Being in the jungle. Right, buddy? Look at you, barefoot and all. Wild man. <laughs> Mowgli. <laughs> See, Texas doing it. A little show off, right? Texas show off. Beer brats. Because even if it does flood, it can get wet. What's that? There you go. You had a chance at it. You had you had the spotted pig right in front of you. A homemade relish, jalapenos, onions. That looks good, brother. That looks good. I don't relish because I didn't even try it yet. Really? Nice work. <laughs> Who's the killer? Me. Well, You're the killer? Yeah, Look the at the shot. What? All the what? way in the tower, too. I got the tower. Up to the he had it, bro. We lined him up. We got him back here. He got up in that tower. Well, that's awesome. Super quiet. Dude, so you were part of the hunt, dude. Oh, yeah. That's, that's what it's all about, man. Give me some. And he, he owes Don some meat anyways. For dude. <laughs> hey. Dude. Huh. You said it. You said it was going to happen. You said it was going to happen, bro, and you did it, man. I'm proud of you, bro. It was crazy. We walked past two of them. We saw one in the pool. I counted ten at least. Just walking in the dark. You're kidding. right by one. It was pretty cool. That's awesome. Dude, your first pig, man. How do you feel? You good about it? Good, yeah. Little fatty eating my corn. Right, Tex? All right, so was it three generations? Yes, we had three, right? three generations of my family. 22 years 22 in the Marine Corps. 22 years in the Marine Corps. Vietnam vet. Yes, sir. 
disabled veteran. Disabled veteran, got hurt a little bit over there. And that. about to turn 75. In just a few days. And this was your first pig. And that was my first pig. For and you shot it with a shotgun. And I shot at it at 80 with yards, open sight. Open sight. <laughs> and this guy. He got one finally. This He's guy right here. Persistent. Surprised all of us. Yeah. And pretty much on his own, goes up into the sand quietly and is able to take a shot and with the rifle he borrowed. And made a good A perfect shot. shot. Yeah. Um, Double long, through that shoulder. Hey, man. Couldn't have been any better a shot. I mean, that, that one, uh, that was every bit as good a shot as I've seen. Oh, that was incredible. Yeah. So what y'all what do y'all think for your first experience? That was great. We're going to, uh, we're getting, when we get home, we're going to get home. I'll, I'll we'll, be here. I'll be ready. We'll, uh, we'll get something going because we had a, a good time. The bed was comfortable. Uh, the, the blanket was just enough to keep us warm. I know we had some weird foods, but you we, enjoyed that. Well, everything we had was good. <laughs> Loved them foot brats with that. Oh, and I got your uh, the relish? relish in the back there. First time, first hog, first hog. Yeah, that was the first time <clears> ever hunted. That's awesome. Hey, That's you incredible. had never hunted anywhere with a gun before, have you? So, so what would you what would you be your uh, last words for a recommendation if you if anybody wanted to if, come hunt if i come was to jungle. come Thank come to texas jungle hospitality was fantastic uh we saw hogs on on every every place we sat lots uh, of hogs lots of hogs yeah there wasn't one or two there was <laughs> lots of here you go tex say goodbye tex <laughs> All right. Just, I love him. Isn't he great? He's a he's a Texas jungle mascot. Aside from the wild hog we have as a pet. <laughs> All right. Well, that was awesome. They uh, got to say goodbye to him, and they're very happy clients. First time I think they ever killed anything really. First time they shot a hog, that's for sure. So that was that was awesome. That's what it's all about. Happy clients means I'm happy. You want to see how big the pig is that comes over here? Here's him rubbing. Right there. Comes up to my hip bone right here. That's a big pig. Big pig. And this is the slop. Slop that we got going here. They can't resist it. They come in here and they just eat it all up. Yeah, there's buzzards here. We might have a we might have a kill. That we haven't found yet. We'll see where these buzzards are going if they see if they find our kill. Uh, no, can't be too far. I think we got another dead pig. What is that, bro? What the heck? What? What is there? Blood up there. It's a bit of a mystery. Chunks of meat. I'm not sure what that was. It's just chunks of meat. Interesting. All the way up this leg. Huh. Not sure what happened. See these buzzards? Something's dead pretty close by. What the heck? What? What? What happened here, bro? Thinking. Gut pile and blood going all the way here. It's like something drug it up here and ate it. That's freaky, bro.
He shot a huge one. How did we not? Oh my goodness. He shot a giant. Great shot. <clears throat> Spotted one. Doggone it. Look how much meat he would have had. She was right there. Tex. How come we didn't find this yesterday? Golly. Meat's no good. We'll get her next time. Good, beautiful pig. What a beautiful pig, bro. You shot a beauty, bro. He could have gotten this one with the uh, seven mag I gave him. Looks like more than one shot though. Honestly. There's one shot. Dude, that's a great pig, man. Beautiful pig, dude. Blonde pig spotted. You did it, bro. You hit it. We didn't even look over here. We went and looked at a different spot. Unbelievable. That's awesome, dude. So that's, from what we know, that's at least three pigs that we have down. A little razorback on it. Right there. Feeder is right there. Blind is right there. Pig is right in there. I mean, right there. So, didn't run, but maybe 50 yards, maybe. I think we got another one here. Got another one, Tex? We got birds. Where's that? You gonna find it? No, the creek's there. More pigs. More dead pigs somewhere. Dang. There it is. There it is. Two pigs, Austin killed. Stinks. Austin, you got another one. With your M1. Guts spilled. There it is. Nice chocolate. Been here for a minute. Here's another one, cousin. You're a slain machine, my friend. Here I was kind of doubting you. You done good, bro. Sal, for what I can see, another one. You did lots of farmers, a lot of service. That's why the babies are still coming around because their mamas are dead. She stinks, so I'm gonna get out of here. She was way in the thicket here, bro. There it is, Austin and Andy. You did it, bro. Y'all tore it up. She's stanky, but y'all did it. Dude. That's four pigs on the ground that we know of. Four pigs that we know of. Good job, Tex. Good boy. All right, man, I'm out. I can't do this. She ran right into this thicket. I mean, look at this. Creek's right there. I mean, this is a jungle right here. She came here and died. She probably didn't die right away. I'm out. Buzzards are having a heyday, y'all. They love it here. They love it here. But we're down here at the bottom of the creek. Eh? And that pig was thick, thick, thick in there. And the creek is just right there. I mean, right there. That pig was all up in this thicket here, up there. Didn't cross the bank. How is it, Tex? Any fish in there? Any white bass? Huh? Any white bass? That looks nice in there, bub. 
That looks nice in there. That might be fish, look. We might finally have some white bass in here. And I don't have my pole. So that's cool, I'm happy. I'm glad I came back out. Awesome experience with some awesome, awesome new friends and new clients.